For more videos, visit for the sake of education.com or become an official student at patreon.com forward slash Daxter Bells. All right, guys, now we're going to do these two problems where you have to replace the force, uh, the force system by an equivalent resultant force and a couple moment at point O. And then you got to do the same thing for point P. So these problems are very easy. Um, basically, you know that the resultant force is equal to the sum of the forces. So let's call this one F1 and let's call this one F2. So we know that the resultant force is equal to F1 plus F2. Now we got to find the Cartesian vector form of each. So let's find F1. F1 has an X component and a Y component in this 2D system. The X component is given by this. Let's pretend it's coming soon. And this is the Y component. This is the X component of F2, and this is the Y component. So the, F com the X component of F1 is given by the magnitude, which is 455. And now with this triangle that's given right here, 13, 12, and 5, you can find the ratio, which is 12 over the hypotenuse. And it's negative because it's going towards the left. So that means that this is equal to negative 420. For the y, it's going up. So we're going to use the 455 magnitude. It's positive because it's going up. And we're going to use the triangle ratio, which is 5 over the hypotenuse. And that will give you 175. So the Cartesian vector form of F1 is 420i plus 175j. So now we need to find um, F2 in the same manner. F2 on the X, F2 on the Y. So the X component is given, we have an angle, so we're going to find it by doing the magnitude 600 times the cosine of 60. And since it's going towards the right, it's positive. So that is equal to 300. And in the y, it's going down. So it's negative 600 times the sine of 60. This is a 60, yeah, sorry. Which comes out to be 519.6. And it's negative because it's going down. So the Cartesian vector form is equal to 300i minus 519.6 j. So now that we have the Cartesian vector form of the forces, we can just add them up, the i's with the i's and the j's with the, with the j's. And you're going to get that the resultant force is equal to negative 120i minus 344.6 j. So they want you to find the magnitude. And the magnitude is given by 120 square plus 344.6 square, all square rooted. And that gives you 364.9 newtons because we're in newtons. And the angle is given by the tangent inverse of 344.6 over 120, which gives you 70.8. And you know that it's negative and the x are negative on the y, so you know that this angle is the angle right here. So if they ask you for the angle with respect to the x, you got to add the 180. Just remember that. So this is the resultant force for the system. Now they want you to find the moments at O. So some of the moments about point O. And these are very easy because I drew the X and Y components of the forces. Whenever you do this, try to draw the X and Y components and you'll get it right away. So let's assume that counterclockwise is positive. So 
you know that at about O, the forces creating moment are F1 in the X, which is this one, F1X, this one's F1Y. Since F1Y comes out directly of O, it doesn't really create a moment. F1X times 2, 2 C arm, because it's from here to here, it's this 2. And it's positive because it's creating a counterclockwise moment. Plus, you know that F2X and F2Y are both creating moments. F2X is creating a moment of F2X times the arm that is turning, which is this one, 0.75, and it's also positive. And then Y is creating a moment about this arm, which is 2.5, plus F2Y times 2.5. So when you plug in the values for F1x, F2x, and F2y, which we have here, you're going to get that the total moment is 23.64 newton meters. Newtons because the forces are in newtons, and meters because the distances are in meters. So that's the sum of the moments about And since it's positive, it's kind of clockwise. So that's for this one. For the second one, about P, the sum of the forces is still the same. So the resultant force is exactly the same. Degrees, that way. So this is the same. All you need to find is the moments about P. I'm going to move a little faster for this one because I already did the moments about O, so the moments about P should uh, be easy to find now that you know how to do it. But basically, the forces creating moments about P are F1Y, F1X. F2X doesn't really create a moment about P because it aims directly at P, and F2Y. So the moments about P, assuming kind of clockwise is positive, are F1x times 2.75 because F1x is creating, is turning this sum that goes from here to P. So minus F1y times 1, y minus because it's creating a clockwise moment by turning this sum that has a length of 1 plus F2Y times 3.5. 3.5 is a distance from here to here, and it's trying to turn it that way. Therefore, it's positive. So when you add this all up, you're going to get that the moment is 2798.6 Newton meters. And since it's positive, it's kind of clockwise. Final answer for the moment about P, the moment about O, and the resultant force is the same for both, and final answer for that too.